Billy D, and this is another Cal Jam update. And I can't tell you how excited we are this year. We've really stepped up the game from like right here to like I can't even reach as high as I want to go because we've added Greg Christie and Bright Ideas to our program this year to bring you the most amazing Cal Jam experience. It's, it's going to be on beyond Super Bowl. Greg, we're excited to have you. Thank you. All excited right. to be here. So. Number one, you've worked, I mean, because we want to have a rock and roll feel to the event. You've worked with some pretty big bands. Why don't you name some of the bands that you work with? Uh, Imagine Dragons, Train, The Black Keys, Elton John, Prince. Prince. I like Prince. And Prince is, he's probably hard to work for. He is. Because he's very AR, I think, yeah. from what I've heard. Yep, yep. He knows uh, what he wants. You said the Eagles, too, right? Yes. The Eagles. I mean, they're, they're not a big band, but just kidding. Yeah. And then also you've worked with a lot of Fortune 500 companies in the past as well. Yeah, everybody from Ford Motor Company to Microsoft to you name it. Pretty much anybody that's out there we've been a part of. Okay, and the thing I really like about you, I mean, you're, you're kind of like me. You're like, I like to see stuff visually and, and you, you, we have meetings and we're very organized. And But I think the biggest plus for you is that you've worked with the center so we're going to have some harmony this year with their team and our team which it seems like for every year that I've done this the seven years it's just been I mean people don't feel it but backstage there's just a it's always been this almost like a war between our group and their group and I'm really excited that we have kind of a team together where we're our, our common goal is just to give the the people the best experience possible when we in the years past it's it's always been this like dissension and i'm just so excited that john recommended you and john's what's john's title over at the foreign center he is the technical director for technical. segerstrom hall and he recommended you and then when we met you I, I mean, we knew that you were a perfect fit for us and yeah and you're working with us because you want to see this thing grow mm -hmm. okay because our vision is to take it from you know i always want to be at the performing arts center but i want to grow this thing obviously to bigger capacity venues mm -hmm. I mean I would be sad for us leaving that place because that place is so mm -hmm. beautiful maybe we can talk about doing it virtually uh, no glitches this year either right I have a sticker on my desk it's from uh, the Apollo 11 mission and it says failure is not an option right and we we live by that okay so yeah and uh, you're not gonna have problems getting speakers off the stage either because we run a a bright lean kind of time we're like Swiss watch time We'll be right there and make it happen. Okay, and then because of one of the, I mean, financially, this thing's an expensive event, event to put on, obviously. So I just have to make sure that my vendors and sponsors and everybody's happy. So they have to have their allotted space time or their time face time with the, the crowd. So it's just important that everything goes like a Swiss watch. What what typically would you do to get a speaker off of the stage if he was going maybe three or four seconds older? His well, we've got a couple things. We've got the speaker timer. Okay. And we brief the speaker before they go on stage. They know that the timer's there. They're watching it count down. Uh -huh. The other thing we'll do is in the back of the room, clearly in their eye line, there'll be a big red light. And there'll be a big red light. And when if they go over, the timer's not working, this light will come down like a huge spotlight. Crab won't be able to see it because he'll be lit with stage light, but he'll be able to see an instant visual cue that it's time to go. Okay, cool. If that doesn't work, we do what we call the Academy Awards playoff. And he takes a breath, music swells, microphone goes off, voice announce comes on, thank you, so-and-so, and we're moving on to the next one. All right, cool. And we've kind of we've gone to some extreme measures with the the feel. I think that's the way. Describe the feel that we've kind of going the direction we're going right now. Well, it's almost kind of like a, a '60s kind of meets contemporary rock and roll kind of vibe. So okay. it's going to be a lot of amazing visuals behind the band, integrated in with the music. Um, fun stage risers that the band's on that's kind of glowing within and pulsing with the music. Much more integrated lighting than you've had in the past. Right. So all these elements will just kind of forge together to create a truly, a true concert experience. Right. And uh, the sound's going to be good this year. Yes. Okay. So that will be amazing. So, 
I mean, I don't know what the problem was last year, and that's behind us, but you've worked with the center, and you've worked with, obviously, big bands in the center, and the sound system they have there is adequate. There's, there should be no reason we need to bring in extra gear. We'll, we'll bring in some odds and ends of my stuff. Okay. Subs, for example. Okay. The center's light on those. We'll add those in. But their main PA is great. Their consoles are great. So we'll just kind of supplement. Okay. And then as far as the, we're going to have, a, I don't want to give all of everything away, but we're having two screens on the side of the stage this year. Mm -hmm. we're, and then the screen behind the band and the speakers, is that thing's going to be fill the entire space correct mm -hmm. 40 feet wide by 22 feet oh, tall it's gonna be amazing so i am just really excited because i want to make you guys think not think i want you to know this is going to be the best event in the chiropractic profession and literally we want to take this thing out of our chiropractic family and deliver it to the world but we have to make it so that it's something that people are stoked to go to and i, and I can't see why anybody in the general public I, number one, I wouldn't. Under, I can't understand why a chiropractor wouldn't go to an event like this. You're not only getting the most amazing experience, but you're getting relicensure. It's a party. I mean, there's nothing wrong with partying. I mean, I'm a water guy, so don't throw any, you know, organic tomatoes at me yet. And I just want people to come and and, and learn and and have fun and get relicensure, and eventually we want to take this thing out to the world. And you know, my vision is always to make it as big as the Cal Jam that we had in the, the 70s with 250,000 people at it finally getting the big idea. Anything else in closing? I totally support what you're doing. You know, the natural healing and all that. You know, too many people, in my mind, get caught up in the, the Western medicine, and I believe what you're doing, and that's why I'm excited to be a part of this. Cool, cool. And then also we've got other issues like the Fukushima stuff that's going on. Geoengineering, I don't know how much you know about that. Uh, GMO, we, we discuss things other, we talk about human health, but we also discuss planetary mm. health issues because, I mean, chiropractic is great, but if we don't have a place to live, it really isn't that good. And then one of the other things that we didn't touch on, I mean, obviously you've done the rock and roll stuff, but your background is really theatrical. Mm -hmm. Explain a little bit about that. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I was, I was raised in theater all the way from high school, mm -hmm. and that's what I feel that I bring to an event is that sense of theater right you know and it it what what so it all kind of exactly has a congruency together or not congruency and i'm trying to think of it properly. no i mean you've got a beginning a middle and an end there's a reason for the visuals there's a reason for the effects it's not just there for the heck of right. it right and you're telling a story right you know and you're in in this case you're delivering a message right so it's my job to illuminate that message to the audience in the best way possible so it touches their heart and their mind. Right. God, I can't, I'm so stoked. I can't tell you how much. I'm so, again, thank you so much. Thank you. And signing off, Billy D, Greg Christie, Bright Ideas. Rock and roll. There we go. <laughs>